In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to use the SMS authentication method when conducting transactions in an in-person signing scenario. Add your documents and recipients to the transaction. Since this is an in-person signing scenario, add yourself as one of the recipients. You can request that the recipient authenticates himself in order to access the documents to sign. In this example, we'll authenticate David Cobb's identity using SMS authentication. In the Recipient section, click the ellipses and select Settings. A dialog box will appear. Click Authentication. Select SMS in the Authentication method section. Enter David Cobb's mobile phone number. Click Save. Scroll down to the Settings section and enable in-person signing. Click Next to prepare the document for signature. Add signature blocks to the desired locations on your document. Now your transaction is ready to send. Click Send to Sign to distribute your document for signing. Since this is an in-person signing scenario, you can immediately start signing the document. Click Yes to start signing the document. As the host of the transaction, you can decide which signer can sign the document first. We'll have David Cobb sign first. Click David's name and click Start. A dialog box will appear requesting to pass controls to David to sign the document. Click Proceed. David will confirm that he will sign the document. He clicks Proceed. David is prompted to enter the SMS passcode before accessing the document to sign. He enters the SMS passcode he receives on his phone and clicks Enter. David receives access to the document and signs it. After he clicks Done, he passes control back to the host and the host completes signing the document. Visit our support center for more video tutorials about one span sign.